The Legend of Gullet the Mullet, written by Uncle Hardy Roper, illustrated by Mike Reuter, and narrated by the author. The sudden movement in the sand frightened Gullet the Mullet. He couldn't imagine what was kicking up the bottom like that, making such a fuss, and causing the water to get so cloudy. He sat there, moving his fins, treading water, trying to figure out what to do, upset that he had let himself get into such a fix. Gullet began to speak to himself, as mullets do on those rare occasions when they are alone. My friends and I noticed the tide going out, and we started swimming for the pass. We had to get past the sandbar before the water got so low that we would be trapped. Somehow I got separated from them. I don't know how because it's never happened before. They made it out and I didn't. Now I'm here alone until the tide brings them back. What do I do? Suddenly a voice shouted from the swirling sand. Hey, you, you there, the mullet. Who, me? replied Gullet as softly as he could. The roughness in the strange voice made him nervous. The water was clearing now, and Gullet strained hard at the bottom to determine who was talking to him. He began to see a shape lying on the bottom. It looked like a huge frying pan with a handle being a tail. At the other end were two eyes close together, like eggs being fried. They stared straight at Gullet. He finally recognized the shape. It was a flounder. Yeah, you, said the flounder. What's your name? My name's Gullet the Mullet, and I'm here all alone. Can you help me? What's your name? Freddy the Flounder. So what are you doing here all by yourself? I've never seen a mullet by himself. You guys are always together, like you're afraid to be alone or something. Are you different from the rest of them, or what? No, I'm not different, said Gullet. I'm just like all my friends. We're exactly alike. I just got separated by accident. Could you help me? What kind of help do you need? Well, I've never been alone before, and I don't know what to do. Where will I go? What will I eat? I'm really frightened. You mullets are all alike, said Freddy. You always swim around side by side in a school. Where one goes, you all go. When one turns, you all turn. When one dives, you all dive. At exactly the same time and exactly the same way. It must really have been an accident for you to have gotten separated from your school. Well, I guess you're right, Mr. Flounder. We do always swim together in the school, turning together and diving at exactly the same time, in exactly the same way. That's the way we are. Yeah, but then when you need to do something on your own, you can't. You've always done whatever the group has. It's always the group's decision, right or wrong, good or bad. You just went along whether you wanted to or not. Isn't that true? Well, yes, I guess it's true, Mr. Flounder. But what about you? Do you always do things on your own, making all your own decisions? Yes, all the time. I don't run around in schools like you do. I take care of myself. I don't need anyone. I'm tough. You sure act tough, said Gullet. You mean you don't have any friends? Not even any of the redfish that visit this marsh? Or the trout or even the piggy fish? Not even the piggy fish, said Freddy. I told you, I don't need anyone. I'm tough. I bet you're not really as tough as you act, said Gullet the mullet. I bet you just act that way. Maybe you want everyone to think that you don't need anyone, like a bully who picks on everyone when he's really very lonely. Well, I don't need anyone. I can do everything I have to. I can find something to eat. I can always find a nice sandy bottom to bury myself in. And I certainly don't need any friends because I can do anything I want, except, well, except... Except what? asked Gullet. Well, maybe except talking to someone when I'm not feeling good. I can't do that by myself, said Freddy. Can't you just talk to yourself? asked Gullet. No, no, not really, said Freddy. I mean, well, yes, I can just talk to myself, but it's not the same thing as talking to someone else.
I think I know what you mean, said Gullet the mullet. Sometimes, when I'm with my school of friends, and we're all together, doing exactly the same thing, and exactly the same time, well, sometimes then, I feel like no one really cares about me as an individual. It seems like it's just the group that counts. What's that got to do with me? asked Freddy the Flounder. Well, said Gullet, when I feel like that, like no one really cares about me, it would be nice to have someone to talk to, to see if they ever feel that way too. Oh, I see. Hmm. Well, maybe. Oh, I don't know. Well, enough of this, said Freddy. I'll tell you what. Why don't we go over to the pass, and I'll show you how to catch some dinner. That sounds good, said Gullet. I'm starved. Now you stay way behind me over there in the weeds and watch, said Freddy. I'm going to bury myself in the sand so that only my eyes show. Then when an unsuspecting shrimp comes dancing along, I'll pounce on him for dinner. Gullet the mullet watched closely. He really appreciated Freddy teaching him how to get a meal. Afterwards, he felt good knowing he could get his own food when he needed to. It was one thing he could do for himself. The tide was starting to come back in now, and both Freddy and Gullet realized that Gullet's friends would be coming back soon. It was time to say goodbye. Gullet the mullet would be leaving soon with his school of friends, returning to his life of turning when they turned and diving when they dived. And Freddy the flounder would remain behind, alone, living his life with no one to talk to. But maybe one day, in that same marsh, Gullet the mullet would be there with his school of friends, swimming and playing together. Maybe the tide would rush out unexpectedly, and Gullet would accidentally get left behind. And maybe, just maybe, a voice from the swirling sand would say, Hey, you, you there, the mullet. And Gullet the mullet would say, Who, me?